Hello there, and welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. I am Professor Juniper, your Pokemon statistics professor. There are 18 different types of Pokemon, and you can combine these to create wonderful looking type advantage networks. How exciting. Wait, what was your name again? Oh, I don't care. To know how these work more in depth, you can look at my previous video. But basically... <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I had something in my throat. Anyways, you have every type, and they all point to each other with these values. You have 0.5 for not very effective, 1 for neutral damage, and 2 for very effective. You can add all the outgoing values to see how strong a type is offensively, and you can add all the incoming to see how strong the type is defensively. You can take the difference of these values and rank how good a type is overall. And this is cool and all, but it doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what we can do. Wait a minute, what was my grandson's name again? So like I promised like a year ago, ugh, we're gonna add terror types to the mix. So to do this, we basically add a third type, but it's a little bit more than that. We add the offensive benefits of having a third type, but we keep the defensive benefits and none of the drawbacks. Let me explain. Say you're rock ground and you're getting attacked by water. So you're super weak to water and you're super resistant to fire. So what happens if I terrestrialize to grass? Well, suddenly, I resist the water, but I still resist the fire. That is because we're pretending that we're not terrestrializing against the fire, but we are terrestrializing against the water. In game theory, this kind of analysis where everybody knows what everybody's doing and everybody is always playing perfectly is called a Nash Equilibrium. It doesn't help this being realistic, but it does make it easier to calculate. So these are the results. At the bottom we have Bug Grass, and the worst Terra is Bug Grass, Terra Grass. The best single type is Water. Because Terra is so good offensively, the best dual type without Terra is Normal Ghost. And the best overall is... Like and subscribe. How did that get there? The best overall is Ground Seal Terra Fairy. Now that we're calculating with Terra types, things are a lot more complicated. To give you perspective, when we're just calculating single types, we have 325 connections. And I'm just going to preview the code while I'm showing you this. So this is what that looks like. And scrolling down, and so there are 171 dual types. That means we have over 55,000 connections. I'm not even gonna draw that out. With Terra types, we have over 3,000 type combinations, and the holy moly! That's a lot of edges. And scrolling down, and look at all this crap. So taking the Terra results from before and working a little bit of Exo Magic, we can get... Bada bing bada boom, the best Terra per type combination. So these are just calculations, right? They're just numbers. We're, add we're taking types and we're adding, subtracting based off if they're super effective or not, or resisted. We're not considering things like Grass being immune to powder moves or Dark being immune to Prankster or stuff like that. And that stuff is a super huge deal in Pokemon. Also abilities, also movesets. So yeah, there's no way that you can just take this, just look at types and build an optimal team using just types. You know what I mean? So this uh, analysis isn't really a substitute for any team builders that are out there, but it is kind of interesting because when you look at the Dawn fan variants, you can kind of see that Game Freak knew some of this because they really toned down Iron Treads compared to Giant Tusk. Giant Tusk has a lot better stats, a lot better move pool, and it shows in its usage. That said, I think that the offensive team that this generates can be pretty good because uh, if you're just attacking stuff, you're just doing damage, right? So all that all that technical mumbo jumbo goes out the window. So I think the offensive team might work pretty well, but the defensive stuff is probably pretty bad. Oh right, the. T so what happens when you take the top type, weaken all of its values, and then calculate the top type again? Well, then you get a different top type that kind of compensates for the weaknesses of the old top type. For example, here you have ground steel, and then we did it again. We got electric flying, and then we got fairy water, which kind of compensates for the weaknesses of the original two. 
So if you do that six times, in theory, you'll get a pretty well-balanced team, right? So I think that a ground steel, electric flying, and furry water team would work pretty well in a game like Pokemon Go or Gold and Silver, where you don't have all this crazy other stuff to think about. And then you have to think about stat totals and move pools, too. But maybe not. A curious thing here when you do this for defensive types and uh, have Terra in the calculations, since Terra is cruised up with the defensive values and the weaknesses and all that stuff, you end up with uh, with three Dark Steels here on the top seven types. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird. You even even two Terra Flyings with Dark Steel. I don't know. I, I, I made this list and I checked it like ten times and I cannot find any problems with the math, so... You just, just have to take my word for it. <laughs> Dark Steel Flying is the optimal way to go. If... If you could Terra every single type, and if you played perfectly every single type. So we're gonna do a little experiment. If you go to the Picolytics Team Builder and select Scarlet Violet OU, you'll get these Pokemon suggestions. I'm pretty sure the one on the left is the best, so we're just gonna keep clicking that until we have a full team. And we're gonna use the top sets from Smogon to complete it. Then we're gonna take my generated offensive team, because I think this is the best one. We're gonna match the Terra from best Terra per type, and also take the top movesets from Smogun. And we're gonna see who can win. If you were paying attention, you may have noticed one of the types was wrong. I forgot camera up was a thing. So, whoops. If you're gonna use any of these tools to make a team, I'd recommend doing something similar to me. Uh, just take one of the top types. Don't use the top pair of teams, because uh, those are crazy. Just use one of the regular top type teams and take some Moosets from Smogun, take the Terra from there or from the top Terra list, or just whatever makes sense for the team was probably the best idea. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, like and subscribe. It'll tell me to make more stuff like this, or maybe less. <laughs>